This year, UT Bursar's office is implementing new distribution policies for excess financial aid. A disclaimer included in emails from the UT Bursar's office to students this summer reads, Beginning summer 2012, excess financial aid checks will be mailed to your billing address if you have not set up a refund profile. Checks will not be available for pickup in the Bursar's office. According to findthebest.com, about 96% of first-time undergrads at University of Tennessee receive an average of $3,188 in financial aid each. One of these students, Junior Nolan Steele, has had his refund profile set up for four years now and claims that it has not failed him yet. No, I've always had the direct deposit into my bank account, so it's always been deposited to my bank account the day of. The bursar hopes that the new system will help curb complaints of lengthy distribution periods that place students in financial limbo. Steele admits that even with direct deposit, he still must wait about a week into the school year to get some of the essentials for school. I uh, tried to use money that I earned over the summer to help me with that first week of school. I uh, normally don't buy books until the money is given to me after that first week. Although it is still too early to see the full results of this new policy, bare hallways outside the once infamously crowded Bursar's office could be a telling sign of a successful change.